today I'm starting my page out with some Tim Holtz mixed media dies and um, I'm trying to with this challenge of uh, art journaling every day I'm trying to use up some of the supplies that I don't use that often so I pulled these out and I'm trying to arrange them so that I can get the whole page um, die cut but in the end I ended up um, just dyeing like this lattice type die or die cutting this like lattice type die from the top and the bottom and I'm just gonna glue that to my page because I had to use just like a sheet of cardstock to die cut I couldn't you know die cut it out of my journal so I'm just gonna glue it on top and it's just like 60 pound white cardstock really cheap so I'm adding a lot of glue and then after I add the glue I'm gonna add a layer of gesso um, because there was a little bit of paint underneath <clears throat> I used the extra paint from yesterday and um, I thought that I was going to uh, use it in this today's page but then I saw the dyes and I wanted to use them instead so it ended up covering up the extra paint so the gesso helps also keep the page a little thicker. Um, so now I have a uh, Cryval Ink and Watering Can and two Viva Las Vegas Stamps stamps. One's called numbers set and the other one's called mesh texture and I also have a Finnebear stamp called messy and it's like really neat messy script now I have a stencil by Donna Downey called scribble script yeah scribble script and some Titan buff which is a golden heavy body acrylic paint and I'm just gonna randomly go through my stencil with the paint and I'm using a makeup sponge to apply it and I had extra paint on my craft sheet, so I'm just making some kind of like circles with the paint on my page so I don't waste it. But then once I did the circles, I realized I really liked it, so I wanted more circles, so I ended up taking more paint out of the tube anyway. But at least I didn't waste any. Now I have a Lindy Stamp Gang spray called Merci Beaucoup Mint, and it's this really nice pale like teal minty color and I'm spraying that on my page and I'm blotting it off the areas that have the Titan buff because I just want it on the white now I have a distress crayon and I think this is peacock fe feathers and I'm applying it around like the outsides of my page I'm trying to catch some of that texture from the dye and I'm just uh, putting a little color down and then smoothing it out with my finger I really liked yesterday's page so much with the Queen Elizabeth stamp and the color dripping that I wanted to do the same color dripping um, and a stamp like on top of it but using different colors. So that was my plan for today's page. I'm taking some gray um, handmade modern uh, paint, it's called Slate and Handmade Modern is a Target brand and I'm just spraying some water so that it's really fluid so I can make it drip down from the top of the page. This is a Dina Wakely stamp from a set called Faces in the Crowd and I'm doing my favorite tissue paper stamping technique and I don't know if I've ever mentioned this but the reason I I do it this way is because I'm a really bad stamper it doesn't matter um, you know if the stamp has like a picture on the back I always stamp it crooked and I don't know what it is I I've been stamping for a while now and I just always mess it up so I am afraid that if I get to a point in a page where I have the whole background done and then I stamp on top of it that I'll mess it up and the stamp will be all wonky and even with a stamp positioner I mess it up most of the time so this way it just um, you know I know I won't make any mistakes this way and um, I'm trying to camouflage the edges of my tissue paper this I must be using tissue paper that's thicker and not the cheap kind because it's not disappearing as well as it usually does so I'm just using the gray paint and going around and camouflaging the edges of the tissue paper with the paint so the same as yesterday's page, I have my, my stamp and then I have some of these teeny tiny alphabet stickers on top 
and today um, they say thoughts lost I think the stamp she looks really like pensive so and I had to find words that I had enough of the stickers for so now I have a Uniball Signo white pen and I'm journaling around the top I honestly don't remember if this was song lyrics or what I was journaling about so I just go around her head and make my letters like really swoopy like the G's and the L's make them really exaggerated and this is a food ball 1.5 millimeter black pen and just journaling a little bit underneath this page is really similar to yesterday's page and that's okay like um, I'm really trying to keep it simple so that I don't um, I don't miss any days and that I can complete the whole challenge or at least more than I did last year that's my goal um, not necessarily to complete it um, but to definitely do more than I did last year which is kind of silly because I have way way more going on this year than I did last year but um, I'm more on track this year than I was last year at this point last year I had missed a couple days and um, as of today I did not miss a day yet so I mean of course the videos are uh, a little delayed you know because editing and things like that but um, I'm making the pages on every day and it's working out well so I have some more distressed crayons in different um, like blue tones and I'm applying that all around the edges and using darker colors the further the further in I go I use lighter colors and the further out I go I use some darker colors to like darken up the edges if that makes sense but I really love the way the Distress Crayons look on this texture from the die. I just scribbled some of the Distress Crayon on my non-stick craft sheet and added some water for some splatters. And that's my page for today. I really like the way this one turned out a lot better than yesterday. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know. There's a complete supply list in the description box below. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.